السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته friends welcome back to my channel in this video we will discuss a very useful IC CD4049 that is inverting buffer we will use this IC to generate a square wave how we can generate it uses very minimum components one resistor one capacitor how we can set the frequency let's discuss in my last video I discussed CD4049 hex inverting buffer this IC have six independent buffers inside it is inverting buffer we can also use CD4069 IC that is just inverter but this IC is inverting buffer we can use any one IC nothing different but this IC is uh, more useful pin number one is VDD and pin number eight is VSS I connected 12 volt 12.3 volt at pin number one pin number eight is ground so we can use any two gates we can use pin seven six five four or we can use gate B and A now I am using these two gates pin 9 10 11 12 so pin 9 is input 10 is output 11 input 12 output so we will connect a capacitor between pin number 12 and pin number 9 this time I am using one microfarad capacitor between pin 12 and 9 pin 12 9 10 11 so let's check the connections I connected 100k resistor and one capacitor the capacitor is connected between pin number 9 12 the positive side of the capacitor is connected to pin number 12 and the ground is connected to pin number 9 and the center two points pin number 10 and 11 10 11 10 and 11 I connected together by using a jumper here and I connected 100k resistor between pin 10 to 9 so in this case the output point is pin number 12 so the capacitor end is connected to pin number 12 now I am apply applying power how we can calculate the frequency because it is using the TPHL and TPLH rise time and fall time of the both gates and it uses a fold back current to trick back the first inverter so 1 divided by 1.75 normally in the internet you can you will find formula 1 divided by 1.4 that is not good the exact formula that is 1.75 multiplied by R the resistor that is now 100 kilo ohms 100 kilo ohms multiplied by this capacitor exact value is 1 microfarad the capacitor is 1 microfarad but on the multimeter it is showing 0.982 microfarad so we will use the current value if we want to design a exact circuit we have to uh, we have to select the minimum tolerance multiplied by 0.982 10 raised to power minus 6 it is 5.8 hertz frequency 5.814 5.814 if we will set this resistor at 1 mega ohm at that time the frequency will 0.58 Hertz when the resistor value will increase the frequency will decrease this time I am using 100 kilo 
that time it is 5.81 hertz if i will use 10 kilo ohm the frequency will 58 hertz we will change this resistor to 10 kilo, 10 kilo ohm and the frequency should be 58 hertz now the next point we are using directly from the oscillator it will more better that if we apply this output from this point because here we are taking output we can apply to the next inverter to give a stable output so that any load will not affect on, on the oscillator so let's connect this output to the next inverter from the same capacitor point this IC pin number 13 is blank not connected so we will connect to pin number 14 14 is input so pin number 15 is output now we are taking output from the next inverter and if we use another inverter in the series so in that case we will take two inverted signal to each other so let's connect the next inverter we can select any one gate from here so we will use pin number seven and six we will connect pin number seven to pin number fifteen to take the same output now i will connect pin number six for output we connected pin number 7 to the pin number 15 so that pin number 15 and pin number 6 must be the inverted signal and we can take two signals from this circuit so now we are taking two signals opposite to each other the both signals are in opposite direction inverted signal complement to each other and we are taking 5.814 hertz in each channel if this channel is high the second channel is low what we did I applied this pin number 12 13 in this IC pin number 13 is not connected so I connected 12 to pin number 14 14 15 is the first output and this is the second output 15 and 15 we connected with pin number 7 and 6 is output so here signal out signal A and signal B what happened low high sorry I inverted the signal so we are taking opposite output from one channel and two channel from pin number 15 and pin number 6 if we change the voltage because this IC can be driven from uh, 3 volt to 18 volt now we will change the voltage from 12 volt to 5 volt and we will see the frequency response we can we can select the capacitor so it is around 5.2 Hertz we change the voltage from 12 volt before this the VDD was 12 volt now the VDD is 5.2 volt a minor change from 5.8 Hertz to 5.2 Hertz this occurred now with the same 12 volt calculation if we are using 12 volt 
Now we will change the resistor value. If we will change to 10 kilo, the frequency must be 58 hertz. So let's change this resistor to 10 kilo ohms. This was fixed resistance 100K. So 100K means it must be 100 kilo ohms. It is 100 kilo ohms. Now we will change to 10 kilo ohms. So I have 10 kilo ohm 0.01%. 10 kilo ohm resistor with 0.01%. So it is 10 point. It is 10.0201. So it is exact 10 kilo, 10 kilo ohms. If we use a fixed capacitor that can provide a exactly the fixed frequency. So the switching frequency that is 58 hertz because the capacitor value that is not fixed. So if we have a fixed capacitor, the frequency must be accurate. Now we are taking 56.82 and according to our calculation it is 58.19, 58.2. So this difference due to the capacitor value because this electrolyte capacitor it have no good response at frequencies so we have to use a fixed value capacitor with minimum tolerance so our this circuit is very simple and very useful circuit we can use it any project so if we use one mega ohm resistor the frequency will 0.58 hertz if we use 100 kilo ohms at that time the frequency 5.8 and now the frequency is 58 Hertz we can use a variable resistor here so friends I hope so this video is informative if it is informative hit the like button if you have any question please let me know in the comment, comment box thanks for watching assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh